What's up guys, it's Adam here from the Frenzy Brothers, and today, so today we're going to be talking about how to get all of your combat skills up to that 100 level. So yeah, let's get my second take, because there's a weird glitch with this horse, but anyways, we're going to read them. You're going to want to go to these guys, you're going to ask if you can buy a horse, and then, then pay a thousand gold for it. He'll give it to you, and you're going to want to just head out on... I'm heading out on a new one to see if it's glitched, if it is. But anyways, yeah, you can go to any stable. Let's see, there's one in White Run. It's probably the one you should go to as you get their very... One in Riften. I think that's Riften, yeah. <clears throat> and just all of the big places, they all have stables. So, the countryside, hiding yourself away from the horse owners as the poor horse. So yes, just come over here, or wherever you want to go, and don't your horse, please. Yay, this horse is not glitched. Okay, so every once in a while, they will not register that it's yours, so they, but if that happens, just go back and take a different horse as you're allowed to get those, the horses that they have there, I'm pretty sure. But anyways, what you're gonna wanna do is you're just going to want to hit this horse oh also i'm missing really key important, important things here so you're going to want to go to settings and you're going to want to make sure that your difficulty is at legendary to get it the most health the horse is not going to be attacking you or at least it's never attacked me but yeah so you just want that to be a legendary and then you're just going to keep hitting it until you level your skill up and it does take a while to level it up. But if you're if the horse starts getting low on health, like mine is here. Oh crap. Rip. Dead horse. 2017. It's 18 actually. What am I doing? Oh my goodness. Versus I. Well, um, I kind of failed. Rip the dream. <sighs> well, what I was trying to say is if your horse gets too low on health, um, then wait an hour and it will regain all of its health. But, um, I'm sorry, horse. Uh, I did not mean to do that to you, you your poor soul. Can I take this horse? Yes, I can. Okay, now this horse is going to be my next. Uh, yeah, just then run back and we will let this guy um, smell his uh, old friend and then this is the spot where we will be doing it to him too so we're back here um i'm hoping that the same oh no this horse is glitched so that was the only one not glitched because the other one was but yeah you're just gonna want to keep hitting the horses oh now he's running oh no what the this one's completely glitched you know, he's wanting to attack me, I guess. They're not attack me, they don't attack you, but... Oh, why are these horses so difficult? Well, you can go right off into the sunset. I'll just explain it then. If I can't, if all these horses always screw something up. And, so yeah, you're just going to want to go to a stable, buy a horse, come over here, hit it with anything you have. You can do all of your combat, one-handed, two-handed, destruction everything can go and you're just going to want to use it on that poor horse and it will slowly but surely level up your one hand or whatever you're using so definitely a good mm, use oh hi there okay uh, this is how we'll be continuing this guy doesn't feel Helping me not lesser work. What am I doing? So yay. We're just gonna keep hitting this horse. Oh now it's not gonna be able to wait. Uh hopefully you don't make the same mistake as me. Um, but keep hitting it and you will level up at some point. Also, if this does happen to you, um it's also a good way to level up your regeneration. Ooh, also, what if you do this? Oh, okay, that works. 
Oh yeah, you can just do this too. But keep hitting it, wait for your Magicka to cool up. So you can either use the wait an hour, obviously if it's aggro like it is right now. You're not gonna be able to do that. I'll see if I can try. Yep, you cannot wait while there are enemies nearby. So you just heal it up. Oh. And then keep hitting it. So we started at pretty much the very beginning of one-handed. Oh, well, I'm going the wrong, in, not the very beginning, we were about a little bit more than half, and we were pretty close to living it up, so I'll just keep letting this horse attack me. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Wow, this is like the replay of what I wanted last video to be, the, the last video to be, but this time it's a horse attacking me and not a mammoth. Okay. That's enough healing of the horse, and I'm just going to heal myself. Oh my gosh, that's it. That's it for me. Okay. I keep pressing the wrong buttons. So used to different games. Where are you going? But eventually you will level up your any whatever skill you're using. Um there it is we got our one handed to 83 and i'm going to uh just quickly what the now me and this horse are best friends <laughs> yay that's gonna be a great way to end the video so just do what i told you the guide and you will level it up like i said it does take a bit but it will happen you will level up and definitely the the combat skills the most hard yeah they are the most hard combat skills are the most hard things to level up as it is much of a grind and there's no really good way to do it like that i've seen is super fast because this does take quite a while i think i've put an hour into it and i'm at 83 maybe a little bit less but yeah so that's all you're going to want to do, and you'll hopefully level them up. So I hope that this guide has been helpful for Skyrim needs. If it has, and if you have enjoyed it, then please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment down below what you liked about the video, what you want to see more, what any game that you want to see us play, and I will be seeing you guys in the next video. Peace.